In this video, we go over trig identities for the National 5 maths course. So there's two main identities you need to know about. So tan x equals sin x over cos x. And then sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. And these actually need to be memorised because they don't appear in the formula sheet. So these can be used to answer trig identities questions where you're asked to simplify a trig expression. So for example, simplify tan squared x cos squared x, show you're working. So we start by using tan x equals sine x over cos x, and that will allow us to simplify the tan squared term. So that becomes sine squared x over cos squared x times cos squared x. And then the cos squared x is cancel, and we're left with sine squared x. Express sine x, cos x, tan x in its simplest form. Show your working. So we're going to use the tan x identity again. So sine x, cos x, tan x becomes sine x, cos x, and then sine x over cos x, just by using this identity. And then the cos x is cancel, and we're left with sine x times sine x. So that would be sine squared x. That's how sine x squared is written, by the way. So this is really the same as sine x all squared, but we write it as sine squared x. Expand and simplify sine x plus cos x all squared. OK, so we can either write down the bracket twice, or we can use the shortcut or square ring a bracket. So I'm just going to do it using this approach because that's the one that most students are used to. So we get sine x times sine x, so that would be sine squared x, and then sine x times cos x, so that would be sine x cos x, and then cos x times sine x, so that would just be sine x cos x, and then cos x times cos x. So cos squared x. And then at this point, we can just use the sine squared plus cos squared identity. So that's the identity. So we've got sine squared plus cos squared. So that just becomes 1. And then sine x cos x plus sine x cos x is just 2 sine x cos x. Simplify sine x plus 2 cos x over cos x. So that just becomes sine x over cos x plus 2 cos x over cos x. That's how you simplify an expression like this, where you're dividing two terms by one term. And then that becomes tan x plus, and then the cos x is cancel. So we're left with tan x plus 2. Simplify 2 sine squared x plus 2 cos squared x. OK, so immediately we see that 2 is a common factor. So we start by taking that outside the bracket. And then we recognize this identity. So sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. So that just becomes 1. And we're left with 2 times 1, which is 2.